Uh, we're here today to do what we think, from what we understand, to be the first world exclusive review of a bike called the Ricci P29er. And uh, the reason we decided to do this is because of, of our passion for cycling in this country and more importantly our passion for the brand. I think for me the amazing thing about the Ricci is uh, it's the heritage and the, the, the vibe around the product itself, knowing who Tom Ritchie was and where he's come from and uh, Tom Ritchie came out with a bike called the P22 and the P21 which sadly for most of us was way out of our price budget and, and what we could afford. It was the kind of bike that you strive to and something you really wanted so badly. I've now managed after all these years to get a piece of that heritage and include it with a wheel size that I've now become comfortable with and fallen in love with. And people often talk about this 29er revolution. I don't think it's a revolution. For me, it's more a case of we have a, a different alternative. It's a different choice. And it's a choice that I certainly prefer. And when I heard about the Ritchie P29, I immediately got hold of the agents in South Africa who told me that the bike was going to be made in limited quantities. Um, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on one. When the Ritchie arrived, uh, I was totally overwhelmed by what I'd seen in the flesh. When I actually eventually took the bike out of the box and stood with it in my hands, it, it was quite an emotional moment, but also very exciting. I couldn't wait to get onto the bike. I built it up in a bit of a hurry, and uh, I bought the bike with the Ritchie fork uh, and uh, took it out on its first ride, and I can say that it's, it's the most comfortable, most exciting, most amazing bike I've ever ridden. For me, Looking at the bike itself, I, I, I don't think that, that any corners were cut. I, I, I seriously feel that the bike was made as a, a statement. The colours is just, there's not much one can do about that. It's the original colours from back in the day and you've got to take it as it comes. But a bike, it's got an amazing tube set on it. Uh, if one had to take a close look at the bike, you'll notice that the tubes are all actually quite individual. It's got a very unique headset on the bike itself. I like the sliding dropouts being a single speed rider myself and uh, the amazing thing about the bike is, is, is that it, it, it just has so much appeal and the geometry is just mind blowing. When I get on the Ritchie I have more than just one or two comments about what a nice bike it is. It's, people getting quite excited about the bike itself and a lot of questions being asked and wanting to know what this bike's actually all about. I'm riding a bike uh, developed, designed by an individual that we all have huge respect for and, and probably have what, what I would rate the best hardtail 29er that one could find on this planet to date. Um, but don't expect me to grow a handlebar moustache. Yeah. <laughs>